When, when I grow up, I want to be a paleontologist. When I grow up, I want to be a young doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a game designer. Kansas children should have the opportunity to achieve their dreams. But sadly, many won't. Because they won't receive an education that prepares them for college or a career. Dr. Cynthia Lane, superintendent of the Kansas City, Kansas School District, said, The Kansas assessment is not rigorous enough to guarantee that our students are on track with where they need to be. Kansas didn't always have low standards. In 2002, the federal government enacted No Child Left Behind and gave states an impossible goal, that by 2014, every child will be proficient in math and reading. The law allowed each state to set its own proficiency standard, and many states lowered standards to report higher performance and avoid losing federal money. The idea of states dumbing down standards and lying to children and families made no sense, but unfortunately many states did that under No Child Left Behind. Proficiency levels reported by Kansas were similar to the National Assessment of Educational Progress, or NAEP, a uniform national assessment. But in 2002, state reported proficiency jumped to 65 percent when the standard was reduced. In 2006, the standards changed again. Proficiency used to require mastery of core skills. The new standard only required satisfactory comprehension. Full comprehension is considered advanced in Kansas. So 89% of 11th grade students meet the Kansas standard in reading, but only 56% can read with full comprehension. The U.S. Department of Education says Kansas now has some of the lowest performance standards in the nation, with a minimum score for reading proficiency ranking below basic on the NAEP national standard. Parents think their children are doing well, and many are, but many Kansas high school graduates simply aren't career or college ready. Only 29% of 2012 Kansas graduates scored well enough on the ACT to be considered college-ready in English, reading, math, and science. The Kansas Regents reports that 30% of 2011 graduates who attended a public university in Kansas signed up for remedial classes. Every child should have the opportunity to stretch to their full potential and achieve their dreams. Go to whynotkansas.com to get the facts about student achievement and see what other states are doing to prepare their children to live their dreams.